me and the glam good mask Monday. <laughs> Little pink princess dragon. Good morning, everybody. It's time to mask up. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie. <clears throat> so if you want to see what we're doing, you know, just stick around and we'll be right back. All right, so we got the hair out of the way. <clears throat> Here's our mask of the day. Got the hair out of the way. And here is the mask of the day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 111 skin yeah a lot of people have seen these around now because they came out in a lot of uh subscription boxes um definitely a goodie i have a, a box of five i think it is and this is only number two that i'm working on so yeah rose gold brightening facial treatment mask <clears throat> Advanced Structure, Hydrodil, Enchances Absorption of Moisture to create a protective barrier that keeps skin perfectly hydrated. There's a lot of claims right there. Uh, yeah. Rose Extract, and I know a lot of people go, Rose, ah, but it's not about the scent, actually. Um, rose hips, which is basically the rose right before it opens, um, are extremely high in vitamin C. And that's why you find rose extract in a lot of your skincare. Um, some people like the scent, some people don't. It doesn't necessarily have to be rose scented to have rose extract in it. Um, unlike vanilla. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so cleanse, da 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 da, remove protective film on both sides. Okay, apply evenly, da 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 da, -da. leave on for 20 minutes and remove, uh, letting skin absorb the remaining. Okay, all right, so it's a 20 minute and you, the rest goes into the skin. Okay, so that that's our that's our big you know <laughs> that's our big what we need to know, right? Okay, Ooh, I want to try and make sure that I don't actually the mask. Okay, let's kind of just go to the top of this and see if we can't. Scissor it across the top and hopefully not cut the actual mask because that would not be our goal. Ooh, and she was all the way up there too. Glad I did that. All right, so. Oh yeah, there's plenty left in there for another day. I like that. I like it when I get to use these masks more than once. Not only because it's, you know, cost efficient, <clears throat> but also because, you know, using them once you get a first time impression, but when you get to use them a few times, you know, three or four times, sometimes I get four times out of them. Most of the time I get three. Okay, so. Uh, oh, she, she does not want to 
Yeah, it's a gel mask, all right. Let's see if we can't get the plastic off of it without... Uh, 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 yeah, okay, whatever, right? And over here, ooh, this is... Really needs to go up a little bit. Come on. But you know, if you've got any kind of fingernails at all, this type of a mask will, like your fingernails, will definitely gouge it easily. Like, come on, seriously? Get where you're supposed to go. Oof. Oh yeah, this is one of the babies that's going to slide all over the place. So, dun dun dun! Uh, <clears throat> so I'm actually filming this far in advance because I don't know when my next uh, day off is going to be that I could film before, you know, Mask Monday. And I'm changing to a graveyard shift. I'm going to be working 10 o'clock at night to 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be trying to grab sleep all the time <laughs> for a while. Come on, stay there. Yeah? Yes? By George, I think we've got it. <clears throat> and what's our time? Oh, we did that pretty good. Um, glasses might be good though, because yeah. Okay. It was good because it was not what I thought it was. Ooh. So <clears throat> I have used this mask before and I really liked it when I did. Um, it's been a while, so, you know, your skin changes. <clears throat> it's older now. We'll see, you know, if I still like it as much as I did before. Not to mention that I've tried a lot of other products since that time. <clears throat> and when you try a product and it's the best thing you've tried, you think it's the best thing in the world. But then... A while later, when you've tried some other products, and maybe you've tried a few things that were actually better than that one, it starts to kind of fall down on your list of how good it is. That does not want to stay there. Woo! We might just have to do this. Woo! Okay, maybe not that. Maybe this. Okay. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> so, um... <coughs> Anyways, you know, we'll see. I, I know it was a good mask, and I know it's going to be, like, above uh, average. But, you know, is it still the mask that I thought it was when I used the, the last one? Um, we'll see. Okay, meanwhile, let's talk about the vitamin uh, melting chow mask. Um, that we used from last week. What did I just do with my glasses? Well, this mask was really interesting to me because the serum was, it's a brightening mask. The serum was like creamy. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a thin, <clears throat> okay, I don't want to say thin, but it wasn't like what you think a serum's going to be. It was an actual almost like a moisturizer, uh, like a jarred moisturizer cream consistency. Um, there's still some in here. Let's see. Whoa, he might even be able to see that in there. Yeah, I think you can kind of see the, the cream in there. Come on, open up. Let the light get in there a little bit so that you can see that in there. But yeah, that's like, like cream in there. And there's still, 
<clears throat> there's still plenty of that to do some more too. I'm going to be working on that one. Um, a lot. Because I'm going to use up. Now I did, <clears throat> I did use this a couple more times. Um, the cream I think goes further than the serum. It just, you know, spreads out more. Whatever. I don't know, but... Um, for dull skin, I did feel like this mask did me a lot of good. Um, like, I noticed a difference. <clears throat> Even when I was just, you know, talking on Marco Polo to my friends, I felt like my skin looked much smoother. Uh, you know, and I even, like, kind of went like, ooh, look at how good my skin looks today, you know, <laughs> you know? Um, and I do think a lot of that was due to, uh, that product. <clears throat> I would definitely, I think I have another one of these, and I would definitely purchase this again. This, who is, who, who made this? Dewey Tree, made in Korea. Um, this was definitely a really, I feel like this was a high quality mask. Dewey Tree Vitamin Melting Chow. C-H-O-U for dull skin. Um, yeah. So, there's my review on that one. That, that was a good one. And, you know, I rarely come across one that I wouldn't go out and repurchase. You know, most of, most of these masks are really beneficial. <clears throat> Every now and then I come across one that I just feel like, you know you're going through that motions and it's not really doing anything except maybe cooling off your skin you know <clears throat> but it's not doing anything that that you know you want to pay money for and spend 20 minutes of your life doing so um you know and of course we all have different skin so sometimes what works for me doesn't work for you and what works for you doesn't work for me and that's that's just real life So, I've got another journey going on. Um, I am trying with a vengeance to lose some weight. And so far, <clears throat> I bought one of those waist, like a thing you wrap around your waist so that you can kind of try to sweat it off a little bit. I don't know if it's going to sweat it off as much as it is move it around, but it needs to move it off the waist. <laughs> It'd be nice if it would move it up, you know, <laughs> way up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, and then I just, I wasn't seeing anything, but I'm heavy enough now that I'm not going to see anything until I lose a substantial amount. But when you don't see it, you know, you get less motivated. So, I bought a scale um, on Amazon. And, uh, according to that scale... Now, I don't know. It's one of those digital scales. And it wasn't real cheap. But, there's no way to, like, calibrate it. I mean, at least when you had the, you know, the ones with the needle, you could calibrate those. There's no way to calibrate this. So, I don't know how accurate this is, but, um, I figure I'm more interested in the number going down than what the number actually is, you know, um, I mean, obviously I'm watching the number, but I'm, I'm like, <clears throat> to me at this point, I'm more interested in knowing that the number is dropping than I am in being able to say, yes, and I weigh X amount of pounds. Because I don't really want to say how much I weigh. <laughs> I just want to know that it's going down. You know? So, I hope that makes sense to, you know, somebody besides me. But, <clears throat> anyways, according to that, so far, let me see, I've been doing this for <clears throat> about a week. Maybe a little over a week. And so far, I've lost about four pounds. Um, I actually... The nice thing is that with the digital, it shows you ounces as well. So, you can tell, like, when you went up a half of a pound, you know, versus, like, oh, well, I still weigh the same. No, you don't, you know. So, 
<clears throat> so I can watch the ounces and know, you know, like, ooh, wait, I started gaining again and like kind of nip it in the bud because, you know, I will, I will take a little, you know, um, you know, we went out and uh, ate Chinese the other day and I still lost a pound and I thought, well, you know, that might not show up. Well, sure enough. Stepped on that scale this morning, and I haven't lost anything. It didn't go up, but I'm not, I haven't lost anything. So, you know, if I didn't have the scale, I might just be like, yeah, go ahead, eat whatever you want. But since I have the scale, and I know, I'm not, you know, I stopped losing, and the next thing is I'll start gaining. I know that for the next few days, I need to be a little bit diligent. So, I have about... I really like to lose about 40 pounds, but if I could get 30, 35, I would be much more comfortable. You know, you know that you <laughs> for an active person, you know you gain too much weight when you have to hold your breath to pick something up off the floor. You know, that is like, what? You know, and then you need some serious assistance. You You better have something nearby to grab onto if you're going to stand back up again, you know, so, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, I mean, I, I got to the point where I'm like, okay, if I gain any more, this is going to be bad, you know, so, um, you know, just, just basically agility, being able to get around and do things, you know, and I don't want to mess with that, so, yeah, I'm, I've started, Probably not the healthiest thing, but um, I have my cup of coffee in the morning. I'm sorry, I ain't giving up my one cup of coffee. No. And the way I drink coffee, I like a little bit of coffee with my cream and sugar, okay? I, that's the kickstart of my day. That's what gets me moving in the morning, and no, I ain't giving that up. So, um, however... I'm pretty, I'm, I'm active enough that, um, I'm not as worried about sugar as I am saturated fat, okay, um, because I'll burn off sugars, where saturated fat, and eh, not so much, that tends to be a little clingy, um, so, um, I've been having a bowl of frosted mini wheats with, I take my vitamin with that. I have my allergy pill with my coffee. I take my vitamin pill with that. And that's pretty much the largest meal that I have. Um, which is really the way it's supposed to be, you know. Um, a lot of my eating is a matter of convenience. So cold cereal... I, I'm trying to find um, Total or Wheaties, both of which I like, and I can eat both of those without putting sugar on them, and they have a lot of, you know, good stuff in them, but so far the stores that I have been to do not have it, so I might actually have to order that online, like, what?! I'm going to try Publix first, um, but if Publix doesn't have it, I, I kind of give up. I'll, I'll be looking to order that online. Um, but right now, Frosted Mini Wheats, yep, I'm in Frosted Mini Wheat heaven. Um, I do like, I enjoy my dairy products, and I think that one of the reasons that my hair and my nails have gotten so bad is because I have not been eating a lot of dairy products this winter. Dairy products are good for, you know, your hair and your nails. So, you know, the milk, I'm good with. It's, you know, whole milk, which seriously, if you know anything about real milk, it's not whole milk. Whole milk is raw milk before they take anything out of it and do anything to it. Even if it's pasteurized, you know... It's still whole milk. However, with the milk that you buy in the store, you've got, you know, skim milk, 1%, 2%, and whole milk. Well, whole milk is not untouched. Whole milk is 3%. So, it, it still does not have, it, it's had a lot of the cream and fat taken out of it. Um, 
it's homogenized, which means that the cream that's in it will not separate from the milk, you know, after it sits for a little while. Uh, basically, there's not a whole lot of cream left in it, so that kind of helps too. <laughs> you know? And the amount of cream is what makes your fat, okay? So, 3% <clears throat> milk, I'm not real worried about, you know, I'm not real worried about the, the intake on that. Um, and, you know, I'm having a little bowl of cereal. Give me a break. So, then I have, um, yogurt. I bought a bunch. I love yogurt. So, I bought a lot of yogurt, um, which I haven't eaten in a while. But, uh, you know, I have a fridge in my room now. A small, kind of apartment-sized fridge. So, yeah, I'm stashing the yogurt in there. Um, I got a lot of canned vegetables. I like my green vegetables. I'm not a big fruit eater, but I like my green vegetables. <clears throat> I'd love to be able to eat salad, but since I don't have teeth, I can't chew lettuce. So, you know, it's really it's difficult because most of the stuff that you can't you don't have to chew is not good for you. You know, the stuff that's really the best for you, you need to be able to chew, like raw vegetables impossible that's not happening um i would like to eventually get a blender and then maybe i could like you know blend some raw vegetables and uh make myself some kind of a veggie you know fresh veggie smoothie or something i don't know i don't know but you know right now that's not happening so yeah canned vegetables uh i don't have a freezer in here and i don't have the space in the fridge anyways <clears throat> what else um oh and then for those special occasions when i feel like actually boiling water <laughs> i have ramen chicken flavored ramen with um ritz crackers and i like to get some eggs and kind of do a little egg drop into the ramen you know um I love egg drop soup, and that won't make it egg drop soup, but it will, you know, give it a little more nutrition, so there's that. So, how about you guys? Anybody out there trying to lose a couple pounds? What are you doing, you know? Are you being successful? Are you being on it? Do you have people around you that are eating ice cream and candy bars and going, you know, like, Oh, well, too bad you can't have this, and then the next thing you know, you're out buying an ice cream or a candy bar. I know one of the good things is that I don't have I'm not surrounded by a lot of people especially at home that are you know there's just there's just not that food in the house there's you know um if there was a bag of chips Jake would have it gone in a heartbeat so you know, you know I wouldn't get a chance anyways um you know so I I think I'm going to be fairly successful I just want to get to the point where I feel better and I can, you know, reach down and pick something up off the floor without having to hold my breath. You know, I could maybe paint my toenails, you know, without like, oh, look, I can't even see them, you know, when I bend over. Um, you know, things like that. Just, you know, comfort and, and mobility, I guess. So, because I don't really feel it. I don't feel like I'm that heavy until I look in a mirror or I go to do something, you know, like drop something on the floor, you know? Uh, yeah. So, you know, let me know. Comment below. How are, you know, are you feeling like you're a little overweight? Are you feeling like you could stand to lose some pounds? You know, there's people out there that actually need to gain some pounds and you're welcome to all the ones I could possibly give you. Uh, you know, or do you feel like you're just healthy and right where you're supposed to be? And God bless you if you are, because that happens so rarely. Anyways, let's see what our timing is doing here. Get the glasses out. All right, we are... Yeah, I'd say we're in good time. Okay. So... Let's take this off. We're going to rinse that off before we put it up. Take this off. That actually feels really nice. 
and I just want to, this, this doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't just rub on your skin real nice. It really wants to roll. Uh, of course, that might be because my skin is so dry, but you know, that just means it needs it all the worse, right? Hit up the elbows and the backs of the hands down to the wrist. My goodness. <laughs> It's like one of those, um, oh gosh, I don't know what the name of it is, but you remember the little toy spider thing that you would throw it against a window or a door and it, it would just kind of like slowly <laughs> climb its way down. Um, that's what this thing kind of reminds me of since it's, uh, not wanting to behave. Let's do the neck a little bit too. Lord, y'all know I have a. 61 year old neck and she shows every sign of it matter of fact i think my neck might be 80. Oof. yep get some of that on there Maybe even on the shoulders a little bit it's been warm down here today it's a little bit chilly but it's been like in the 80s it's been lovely we could stand to use some rain the sand is getting pretty deep so, yeah, I would love to see, you know, a little bit of rain, but, whoa, okay. So, the little eye holies. Oh, don't tell me I just lost that one down the drain. <gasps> there it is. There it is. No, do not go down the drain. Oh, I didn't realize that those came out like that. So, okay, let's see. This actually soaked in pretty well. And I I have really enjoyed, I mean, I, there's a lot of mixed emotions about the 311 or the 111 skin because it is very expensive stuff. Um, I would never pay that much for skincare. <laughs> I mean, unless... I could put it on my face and once a week and look like I was 10 years old, you know. Now I just put a new battery in that light and it's already. Jeffrey. Uh, I'm thinking Jeffrey Star might have messed me up here. I just, the last time I used this, I put a new battery in this. Now, the one from Tattoo Junkie isn't as pretty, but it hasn't had a new battery in it. <laughs> yep, it just died again. Are you serious? That's not right. That is not right, Jeffrey. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask around, but uh, the Jeffree Star light does not last over... Well, that's not an hour. That's like 40 minutes. So 40 minutes and it's dead. Evidently, though, like I know they are made for doing um, selfies. So it's not made to be on for, you know, 20 minutes straight, whatever. But uh, maybe... No, that, that should stay on longer than that. I was thinking maybe it's supposed to go off because uh, maybe if I take this out, maybe that's interfering somehow. I doubt it, but let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to be really bummed because this was working really well uh, as far as giving me a little extra light on this side. You can see how dark it is on this side here. So I've been putting these two little selfie lights on the phone to try. Yeah, no, that didn't do, that did not do me any good at all. So this is a selfie light that only lasts. Oh, actually, this doesn't take a battery. Interesting to note. This, I'm going to have to put my glass on. This one doesn't take a battery, it plugs in. So evidently it only holds a charge for like an hour. The tattoo junkie one that I have, this one has a battery in it and she is 
she's good <laughs> she's good for a while so we'll put her up there and now we know that Jeffree Star is not gonna work for Monday <laughs> okay so guys um I better get off of here cuz yeah you know the drill subscribe please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below I love you guys so much and until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing, bum bum bum, wake up dancing, bum bum bum, wake up dancing. This thing out of my hair every single day. <laughs> bye bye. Don't forget to watch the ninjas.